Hi guys, facing a bit of a dilemma tonight. I've tidied up my workroom in preparation for visitors coming and staying because my workroom is the spare bedroom. So, for the first time in months, we can actually see the bed. That's normally covered with bits of car and uh, all sorts of junk. So I've tidied up. Even my desk is pretty clear. So my plan was probably not to do any more uh, building or projects until after Christmas. But I've seen a comment by somebody going by the name of Nothing, which is a wonderful name I suppose, um, asking if I could make a very simple car that would only go one or two metres. Now, the dilemma is actually how do you define a simple car? Uh, simple to me would be put some CDs on some flower canes, onto a bit of cardboard, stick a rubber band between the front and the back, wind it up and let it go. That's simple, um, but do you mean using simple items, items that are easily available, because some people can't get hold of CDs? I always use hot glue to glue things together. Does simple mean don't use hot glue, just use sticky tape? So that's my dilemma. Do I do a quick and simple cardboard and CD rubber band powered car that will take me about 10 minutes to knock together? Or do I do one that I make out of polystyrene pizza bases? Because polystyrene pizza bases are free, they turn up when you've had a supermarket pizza at home, so they may be readily available. What do you use for axles? I'd use flower canes because flower canes are convenient. Maybe you haven't got flower canes. Maybe you've only got pencils. Um, most people have got pencils, not everybody. Maybe you've only got drinking straws. So, defining how to make a simple car has actually got me stumped at the moment. I'm going to sit and have a think for a few seconds. Right, I've decided I'm going to make a car that is simple for me to make. And if the end result is not what the person called it nothing is looking for, they'll have to put details in the comments as to what they had in mind when they said simple. So I'm going to start off with some cardboard that I've cut from the bottom of a tray from the supermarket that had um, vegetables or fruit in it. It's quite thick cardboard, but I'm actually going to cut it and make it double thickness so that I can put plenty of rubber bands on it and give it plenty of power if I want to. I'm going to use CDs for wheels, and as you can see these are ones I've used before. Um, so I will very quickly explain. They're just ordinary CDs that I've put some clear plastic across the hole in the middle, just hot glued some uh, clear plastic. It's about the same thickness as a CD, in fact you could use bits of broken CD to do that. And then I've drilled a hole through the middle where I actually need it to be for my axle and that hole is exactly the right size for one of my flower canes. And I've got two wheels like that already so that's quick and easy for me. This strip of rubber I've actually cut from some washing up gloves. So That would be my washing up gloves normally, but I've cut it into strips and then stretched that over the wheels 
so that's like putting rubber tyres on the wheels. It gives them plenty of grip. So I'll put that on both of the back wheels. So I've now got two wheels there ready for the back wheels, for the axle. For the front wheels, I'm going to use these. These are wheels that I've cut out of credit cards, or similar to credit cards, plastic cards. Um, drew a circle, cut it out carefully, and drilled a small hole in the middle of it. And that's just the right size for a barbecue skewer. So that's my front wheels, front axle, back wheels. I need to have a little look for some barbecue, uh, for some flour cane to use as the back axle. That's a drinking straw. It's quite a big one, but uh, that's one that I've got laying around. That'll do for my front axle tube. And then I've got some bits of ball pens, as we like to call them. I'd call them a biro, but that's probably incorrect. As you can see, this one's been cut into three pieces already. And I'll use them for the back axle tubes. Let's have a look. There's a bit of um, flower cane. I don't think I'll be using that one because it's got bits stuck to it already. But that's just the right size for the back axle to go through. So I need two pieces for the back axle and one straw for the front. So I've got everything I need. Oh, I'll need one paper clip. I've got one there that's already been straightened. So that'll be it. So that's about six and a half inches. So let's make it five inches. And I'm going to make it double thickness. So I need two strips five inches wide. Okay, I'll hot glue them on top of each other. Before I do that, I'm going to cut some, well, I'll cut these board pen tubes a little bit. In fact, I probably don't need to. They're probably the right length. But I need to cut a slot there so that when I wind the rubber band around the axle, it's got somewhere to bunch up a bit. So I'll cut a little slot out the middle there. Half an inch should be plenty big enough. Do the same on that one. Right, I've hot glued my two pieces of cardboard together, so that's going to be nice and rigid. I've also hot glued my ball pen tubes onto the back end. I need to bend my paper clip to make a hook on the front end for the rubber bands to connect to. And then I'll hot glue them in place. And then I'll hot glue the axle tube for the front wheels in place. I'm doing it that way round rather than putting the hook on the outside just in case it crushes the tube and stops it turning. Right, that's my bit of bent paper clip stuck on the end. I've also put the wheels on. I haven't actually adjusted the width yet because I've still got a bit of play there. I shall push them in just a little bit more so they don't flop around quite so much. Now the front axle. 
Again, make sure that overlaps a bit so the wheels don't touch the bodywork. Alright, that's front axle tube in place. Alright, there we are, all assembled. Front wheels from credit cards or plastic store cards. Front axle is a barbecue skewer inside a nice big drinking straw. I'm using a nice big drinking straw so there's no chance of it um, binding on the axle. But I've left a little gap so we've got a bit of play there so they don't actually rub against the side all the time. So there's no friction at that end. Bent paper clip there to hook the rubber bands onto. Back wheels We've got a flower cane, we've got ball pen tubes, and we've got CD wheels. What I now need to do is just wrap a short bit of a bent paper clip around the back axle here to make a hook to hold on to the rubber band. bend it round like that and then I'll hot glue it in place and that'll do to hook the rubber band onto. Okay, that's our paper clip bent round the back axle for a hook. Just before we go downstairs and test run it, I do get the occasional question about how do you join rubber bands together. It may seem obvious to some people but to other people it may not. So. Just a quick demonstration, two rubber bands, you push one through and then you pull it down like that, do that again, through there, you can, actually if I show you the other way, the result is the same through and back through itself. So there you go, I've now got three rubber bands joined together. And if I loop that through my hook on the front there, or my loop, and then push that through the loop that we've made, there we are, tied on the front. Hook it on the back and wind it up. Now we'll go and test run it. OK, let's test run our simple rubber band powered car. rubber band on the hook. Just make sure it releases okay. Right, now we'll wind it up. That should be plenty for in here. Okay, point it in the right direction and let it go. OK, quick summary. A simple rubber band powered car. Thick cardboard. I've actually doubled it in thickness to make sure it doesn't bend under load. Front wheels are plastic discs cut from store cards or credit cards. The axle is a barbecue skewer. The tube is a drinking straw. We've got a bent paper clip just there to hold the rubber band at the front of the car. All hot glued in place. The back wheels are CDs that I've put rubber strips on to give them a better grip. The rubber strips are cut from washing up gloves. 
the axle is a flower cane, the axle tubes are ball pen tubes that just happen to be the right diameter for the flower cane to go in and they're hot glued onto the back of the axle, onto the back of the car that little slot we've cut out to make sure there's enough room for the rubber band to bunch up when we wind it round the back axle and the only other thing is because you have a big hole in the middle of a CD and we've got a small axle I've hot glued some plastic stiff plastic straight across the hole and drilled new holes in the middle so they're the right size for my axle uh, you could use a broken CD for that that's the right sort of thickness plastic I put a piece on each side and then drilled a hole through it the right size uh, did I miss anything? bent paper clip around the back axle left with a little bit sticking up see if we can get the angle right there Yeah. So that the rubber band can hook onto it, and when the rubber band runs out, it just flicks off so that the car carries on freewheeling. So, there you go, that's in answer to a person called Nothing asking me to do a simple rubber band powered car. Uh, if that's not simple enough, you'll need to tell me what it is that needs to be simpler. <laughs>